Hey everyone, this is Ron from eCoverSoftwarePro.com. This video is going to talk about using stock photography to make your images. Now I've set up a little uh, viewing site built into eCoverSoftwarePro.com and the address is eCoverSoftwarePro.com slash stock photos. Now a lot of people say, well, you know, why can't you just give me a million cool pictures. Well, the reason is they're licensed. And I can't, if I, you know, even offered these as templates, um, I would have to pay somewhere around $50 or something per photo uh, for up to a certain amount of users. Obviously, to do that with like 10 photos even would be a huge, a ridiculous expense. And if it's not the photos you're looking for, you get the point. So, um, Basically, we teamed up with Big Stock Photo, and you can go and search for whatever you're looking for, you know, businessman, uh, house, cars, cool cars, whatever. I chose uh, most downloaded here, so you can see some popular photos. And you can see this Beauty in the Grass 3. And uh, I went ahead and purchased that photo. And you can see it just cost me one credit. And what you need to do is sign up with Big Stock Photo once you're taken to the site. Basically, you find your photo here in eCover Software Pro, find a photo you like, and join the site and buy whatever credits you want. You can buy, you know, 10 credits, 45 credits, 300 credits. For eCovers, we only need the smallest size, 900 by 600, and it costs one credit. So that's a great deal. And I went ahead and purchased it. So I'm going to go to our eCover template that all eCover Software Pro customers get and uh, I'm going to load in our image so file open as layers Just, uh, and you'll see that the image is definitely big enough for our needs top quality uh, you'll see that you can click on the layer and move it around. So here's our front cover, here's our top, here's our side. And there's really no room for text. I mean, you don't want to take her out of the, you know, take most of the photo off the screen. But you want to leave room for text. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this layer. So making sure you have it selected here, click on the scale tool. And since I know our front cover, is 400 in height. I'm going to make sure that we constrain the proportions and go 400 and scale. All right. If I go to my move tool, you'll see that our image is the perfect height for the cover, and I can move it so that the girl is in a good position on the front cover. We have room for text here and room for text here. For the top, I'm not really too worried about it. We have all this blue here, so watch. I'll go with the rectangle tool and I'll just select an area here. You see it snaps right to the guide. And I'll go Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste as New Layer. I'll go to my Move tool and move that in, snap it into place. You see it's not quite enough room. It doesn't quite fit that area, so I'll go to Layer, Scale Layer, and I will take off the constrained proportions because I only want to make it higher. So leaving it at 350 width, I'll put in 100 and scale it. And now I can snap this up there, and you'll see that we have a really nice image for our cover, our top, our side, and just to save time, I added some text earlier, and you can see our finished eCover here. And I went ahead and loaded it into eCover Software Pro. By the way, all that text stuff is covered in other tutorial videos, so all of that is covered. Um, here's our software and here are the images that we created uh, in just seconds after loading it into the software. So again, contact us at support at ecoversoftwarepro.com for any questions. Thank you as always.